shall we start kirtana okay madam we can start yeah yeah Part, yeah. Change is the law of life and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. Let us embrace the emerging trends in management education and shape the future of students together. Good evening and once again a warm welcome to all the participants of the Virtual Faculty Development Program on Emerging Trends and Challenges in Management Education and research organized by Karnataka Private Postgraduate College Association in collaboration with Crystal Jayanti College and IA School of Management Studies. I am Kirtana, student of third sem MBA from IA School of Management Studies, a part of Indian Academy group of institutions. I have the privilege of hosting the fifth session of FDP program that commenced on 18th May and concludes on 25th May, 2023 as we come together to delve into the emerging trends in management education, let us take a moment to remember and acknowledge the divine presence that guides and sustain us. Let's start today's session with a moment of silent prayer. Thank you, everyone. This conference with the theme Emerging Trends in Management Education aims to equip the faculty participants with the desired knowledge and teaching skills required to align management education with the requirements of rapidly changing and complex business environment. It's my privilege to introduce Dr. Babagnyanu Kumar, an esteemed professor and distinguished academician who will be leading a faculty development program session, publication of research output in quality management journals today. Dr. Baba Gnana Kumar is a highly accomplished scholar recognized for his exceptional contribution in the field of commerce. He was honored with a prestigious gold medal in commerce by former President K.R. Narayanan in 1992 for showcasing his excellence in academic achievement. Dr. Baba Gnana Kumar has received numerous awards for his outstanding research papers, including awards from renowned institutions such as IIM Bangalore. His expertise extends to ICT-enabled supply chain management, for which he was granted a research paper award from IIT Delhi. As a prolific researcher, Dr. Gnana Kumar has published an impressive 127 research articles and presented 211 papers at various conferences, demonstrating his commitment to advancing knowledge in his field. Additional to his successful completed 25 research projects, further showcasing his dedication to impactful research. Beyond his academic achievements, Dr. Gnana Kumar has held influential position as a former principal of a reputed private college and an executive member of Association of Indian College Principals. He is also an active member of prominent academic organizations, including IAMS, IAB, and IACP. Dr. Baba Gnana Kumar's vast knowledge, research expertise, and dedication makes him an exceptional resource person for our FDP session. We are privileged to have him guide us today. And I'm confident that his insights and guidance will greatly enrich our learning experience. Please join me in warmly welcoming Dr. Baba Gnana Kumar to our FDP session. I now hand over the session to Dr. Baba Gnana Kumar. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Kirtana. Thank you, Dr. Pooja Archana and my dear faculty members. Let us share the screen. Yes. Yes, okay, so there you are able to see the screen. Okay. Dear participants, whether you are able to see the screen? Yes, sir, yes. we can. Okay, okay. Thank you. So today's my presentation is about the very good publications. 
most of the management faculties are thinking about publication in high quality journals. Of course, most of the accreditation agencies, they are thinking about publications only. And a faculty has been measured based upon the research output only. Usually in case of other countries, the research output will form part of their academic one. Once they identified some new concept, it will be included in their future curriculum. That is how the research is enabling in most of the countries. Of course, in India, we are having the traditional system of pedagogy as well as the curriculum making. We are different from that one. In this context, I am going to give my presentation views based upon my own experience in creating the research output in quality management journals. Of course, you can see in case of India, we are going in a different direction and we are ranking number even one within near future. In 2011, we were ranked by seventh place. In 2014 to 18, we were ranked in fifth place and now it is moving towards the second or first rank because 2022, we were under the rank of three in case of research publication. It is the source from the Shmogo Journal and country rank in 2022. So our ranking is moving. Even in case of future NAC, I hope some of you might have seen the new NAC policy, which is going to become very soon. They have published the draft one in the draft also, they have mentioned about the category D as the research and innovation. Recently, NAC released that one. That is the report of the overarching committee. They clearly mentioned that what type of research the faculty needs. And very important thing is the input should be new imagination. And hereafter, the accreditation agencies are going to give importance for the new imagination of the faculty members. The process is the second one. And the outcome they are measuring going to based upon the publication, participation, and collaboration. Even the translational work comes under this concept of research and innovation. That is the new NAC, which is going to be coming within near future. They now introduce the draft regulations, what will be this thing. So based upon that, what is the concept of research? What we are going to discuss today? It means simply exploring the new ideas. In my view, if there is no answer for any phenomenon, then it is called the research. If there is an existing answer, then it is not a research. That is how the meaning of research has been identified in management. We have to see that one. Most of the research is said to be failure. And at the end, they are saying that we are unable to publish. The reason is the results are everybody known that one. Even you can do a research for even 2000 years. The sun is every day rising in east. And finally, you are concluding with very big statistics item, sun always rises in east. You can conclude. It is a very good research but it is not considered as the research because the answer is already there. If there is no answer, if you are going to explore the answer, then only it is the research. So that is the basic thing what we are going to discuss today. My agenda is going like that. Since we are all faculty members, most of you know the traditional methodology. So I am not going for that traditional methodology of publication that, you know, gathering data, processing the data and publishing. My agenda is based upon first, before going for the publication, faculty must know what is the meaning of research ethics? What international organizations are saying about the research ethics? I taken from the COPE. Then, from the American Marketing Association. What they are expecting from the topics, what is the style of writing they are expecting? Then very quite interesting thing is review of literature two, not one. Review of literature one, everybody knows. 
but we are going to focus on literature review too. Then based upon the publications, everything method, journal identification, of course, I am going to show the Trinka, how it is working in identifying the journal. Finally, based upon the Chicago School of Business, that is Booth School of Business, how you have to brand ourselves for the research. Then only we are able to publish the next research. So that is my agenda. We will move on to the first one topic, that is the research ethics. Most of you know about that one. In case of research publication, especially in Australian Business Dean Council, they created one concept called Committee on Publication Ethics. Before publishing anything, either it is a conceptual paper or empirical paper, whatever it may be, first go through the what is the ethics of that particular journal. And this quote clearly mentioned what are all the things you have to see in case of the ethical issues? So it created one committee called COPE, that is Committee on Publication of Ethics. It clearly defined what is the meaning of integrity in research and publications. So in my view, the researchers, the faculty members should go through this COPE first. Then only they will understand how to publish the magazine in magazines, journal, whatever it may be. This ethics clearly mentioned few points. First thing is, what is the meaning of misconduct? Once a misconduct has been identified, it is very difficult to publish anything. Now they created the committee clearly. They know clearly what is the meaning of misconduct. That is simply plagiarism. Even some cases you can't identify, but they created what is the meaning of misconduct. Then who is the author? What they are contributing? Easiest thing, now they are using even social media to find out clearly whether the author is genuine or even machine. Then how the journal is going to handle the complaints and appeals in case of conflict of interest. Then where, where, where the data is coming, genuine journal should ask for the data in the form of separate annexure. And they may not publish, but they will ask and verify. That is the rule. Then what is the ethical oversight? Most of them, they are publishing in two or three journals. Then intellectual property that you know, journal management, whether the journal clearly defined everything. Then what is the peer review process? Then after the publication, if there is any change, how they are making all these things are the essential case of a particular journal. So dear faculty members, before going through the publication, go through the ethics of all those things, whether our, we are following exactly the ethical issues. Even you can use AI, but now we are having software to find out whether your paper has been written by AI. And they are having a nice algorithm to find out whether it is a fake paper written by AI. You can use for the purpose of asking questions, what type of research we can do, whether our statistical tool is correct. That things you can use AI and get that one. But when you are starting writing, try to avoid, but you can use for this type of question, English correction, that thing you can use the AI because they are expecting that one. But when you create a concept, don't give full instruction to AI to create a conceptual one or even the empirical research. And usually first thing, whether the research done by you and publication, what you are going to do, comes under the paper mill activities. That is the interesting thing. Most of our Indian research, they are failed in identifying the paper mill activity. Paper mill activity is nothing, but it is a group of individuals in an organization manipulate the publication process. Same person or same journal, they will 
write articles and they assume that it is available in Scopus or in high level journals. All these things are done by these people. And most of the articles, when you are sending for review, the reviewer will take and they may use that one. All these activities are coming under the paper mill activities. Now, all the major journals, that is quality journals, are clearly identifying these paper mill activities. Try to avoid that one, paper mill activity. Even some of them mentioned that I already published that one. So I have published 20 articles. So this is my 21st article, never mentioned that one. They themselves will identify. Easiest way is present in a conference. Then you can go for publishing. You can clearly mention that I presented all this thing in the conference and they are given few suggestions. All these things are incorporated. If you mention that one, you can clearly escape from paper mill activity. Try to do that one. Now we are having very good softwares and they clearly identify who are you, whether you are returned, whether you presented this type of concept anywhere, all these things they clearly identify. If you are not able to do, then only you are going for paid journals. Then the best practice, whatever may be the journal, you have to find out what are all the journal guidelines. The process should be transparent. That is journal identification process. And if there is any complaint from anybody, there is a compliance procedure to solve that one. Then there are something, whatever may be the literature you are quoting, the proper evidence should be there. And we are following APA style, MLA style, IEEE, whatever it may be the style, but it should have clearly a link for that one. Nowadays, everything is online. So there is need for a link. Then the transparency. The process of transparency is identified by this thing. Cope, I already told. Then in case of directory of open access journals, open access journals only, you have to pay because they have to market your research. If they are unable to identify the customers, they are in a different position. That is why they are going for open access journals. In such case, you have to pay for that one. Other journals, you need not pay. Other journals, only if you pay, then only you are able to see the documents. Otherwise, you can't really accept the abstracts. So understand that one. If you want to publish without any fee, you have to avoid the directory of open access journals. Open access journals are only for the purpose of payment journals. Even then they are following the standards. Then what is the scholarly publishing association is there? I clearly told when you create that one, create and one blog, post that I am doing a research in this area, never post what are all the outputs. And then you can present in the conference, create a proof document for that one. Then you can say that this is my article. That is the scholarly publication. Then of course, in case of medical issues, it is entirely different. So that is called the transparency. Then coming to the journal side, they clearly mention how to identify the journals. It should be a unique name. Same journal will not have a different website. And the website protects the users and has high professional standards. I will show some examples of that one. This is a very important thing. The organization which are doing, it should be clearly mentioned who are going to publish any change in the manuscript and anything they are having the provisions. So you have to see all these things in the journals that is given for the journal publication journal side. Very important thing is publication schedule. They used to publish when your article will be published. What is the licensing procedure? How many days it will in the archives? Then what is the copyright? Only if all these things are satisfied, then only it is coming under the ethics committee. 
even they will charge other fees other fees will be charged only for the open source article other revenue some journals they may ask your library to purchase advertisement is for closed journals only you are able to see abstract remaining thing is they will advertise and you have to create that one that is important because they are not asking money from you you have to create some branding for the purpose of your own abstract all these things are necessary so this are all created by the cope for the purpose of research ethics you can see some of the examples i am showing the example of the international journal of research in marketing whatever the journal it should have all those thing you can see the side score impact factor it should be mentioned if it is not mentioned don't select that article or don't give the article to this organization for the purpose of publishing here it is clearly mentioned what are all the things you must understand likewise if it comes under the quality journals they should have the rc id they will ask if they are not asking for rc id it means that it is not a quality journal simple thing easiest method to find out that one and you have to register and they will tell clearly what are all the copyrights procedures everything these are all the research ethics you have to identify before even writing the articles so go through the research ethics first then only it is easy how you can publish your article so that is the first stage of that one here is a very good example you can see any article if they are publishing in quality journal first they have to mention when the article has been received how many months it has been reviewed when it is available in online who is the editor who is the accepting editor even you can see last one they have to mention clearly open access whether it is open access or not open access means you might have paid that one so all these things are essential in case of journal publishing so before writing the article see that one these are all the things we needed so you have to collect data in such a manner data in the sense for writing so that is the first stage so the simple summary of the first stage is research ethics before writing the article go through the research ethics how they will publish then only in your article it will be incorporated without research ethics if you are doing any research article the quality journals won't publish that is the first concept let us going to the second stage how you have to select the research topic as you know research topic should be society orientation without society orientation you can't do anything we will see some of the example any topic if you are selecting don't start from a study on try to avoid when i was in singapore they clearly told indians will start publishing as a study on avoid that word a study on i humble request because i attended in netherlands also in rotterdam school of business smu singapore management university all these places they simply saying indians oh they will write a study on it is easiest thing to reject your paper and how to find out the trending topics you can see i am showing the example of the harvard business review if the first topic how generative ai changes organizational culture this is a topic but in case of indian others they are not you see they are simply saying this like a question why you are doing like that and they simply reject you with it publishing the author itself is having we should not create a question as a heading it is not like that understand this topic is trending you can see it is trending more than 24 lakhs in social media everything how the ai is going to change so your topic should have a such a trending one this is a very good example of the harvard business review how they selected that one a trending topic is needed go when you are selecting the topic select that one 
trending here is another thing how food companies can better measure their sustainability this is also in a question mark it clearly shows an interest among the readers to read that one because the answer is unanswered nobody knows only if you read you are able to find out otherwise you can't find out that one so find out create a topic in such a manner this question is not having any answer that is why they selected that one and it is coming under the heading itself go like that and it can they clearly mention how food companies can better measure their sustainability indian situation mean you will put a question mark and you assume that it is a question it is not a heading through all those thing if you are thinking like that nothing we can't publish this is a very good example of that one how they are creating your topic should be like that easiest thing to find out is using the social media i think you know most software is there there are a number of software to find out what is the trending topic go and write an article only in the trending topic this is another example from the magazines flipboard app news yahoo queries you can easily find out what are the trending topics which are unable to identify there is no answer here you can see few questions but important question is does it add value for the existing concept a new thing something new should be there how we different from general perception then does the result will have any impact on the academic community because you have to teach you identify something new in future you have to incorporate in the curriculum that is the purpose of research it is not for publication only you identified something why you identified why you are doing research why you are publishing why you are disseminating the purpose is in future your students should understand that one they are going to gain knowledge of wisdom from you that is the purpose of research so understand that purpose of research most of them they never understand so in case of journal publication they are asking that is called novelty in publication here is the some of the thing you can see i have taken some example from international journal of research in marketing see how they created the topic stop arguing how child will be exposed to interparental conflict affects consumer response toward product review this person see that is the topic now i write a study on customer perception towards waste too cute to be bad then stay positive or go negative memory imperfection and messaging strategy these are all called the topic when you are creating the topic be clear don't go for that one of course if you tell these type of topics most of the indian faculty members they disappoint and they told why you are creating this nonsense topic understand this is creating the sense see all those thing what are all the topics accepted go through in such a manner that is my humble request most of the faculty are doing same mistake then the next part the style of writing based upon the american marketing thing now there are number of research website follow that one they will clearly guide you don't write among yourself you can follow the guidelines given by the websites itself here is an example of mendeley how they are creating that one it clearly shows what type of abstract you can create whether your abstract is satisfying the basic condition all those thing even you can post it in research gate but never post the answer you have to say that this research publication is coming from a project project is a study on like that but publication name is different you are studying the particular topic even you can traditional one customer perception whatever it may be it is the topic but it is not the research topic you are doing a project you have to mention i am doing this project and i have to wait for the result but never publish the result because it is a project creation 
you can see some of the examples. Here is the research guide. Mention the project title and what you are doing now. This will help when they are going to publish. It is easy to find out. Their AI will automatically source and find out whether you are doing in the correct manner. And for the purpose of editing service, you can see language editing, everything is now available by the elsewhere. Use that one instead of that one you are paying to somebody else without knowing that person. You, most of them are paying 30,000, 35,000, even say 40,000. What is the use? Instead of that, you can use the language editing services available. There are language editing services available in the high quality journal. Instead of paying to somebody else, you can use the services of language editing. Here you can see elsewhere other services are there. If you find difficult, you can write in simple language, give to them, they will edit. They are charging for that one. Instead of paying 30,000, 40,000 to anyone, you can use this thing. This is the easiest way of publishing instead of going through that one. Next one, when you are writing, there is need for cause and effect. Never go for suggestion without identifying. What you identified? The effect is the what is happening in the story. Cause is why it is happening. Some cause and effect is needed in all the research paper. Without cause and effect, there is no research paper. Try to mention, no way you need not mention the hypothesis in statistics. You can perform statistics, but in publication, there is no need for statistics. You can simply mention in the methodology purpose. Don't put the analysis table, everything. You can see in K, I have shown the example of the Harvard Business Review, how they created that one, how perspective swaps can unlock organizational change. They clearly, in the first paragraph, they mentioned power poisoning. Then they mentioned the effect. That is the cause and effect. That is the concept we have to follow. Another one, here is the example. One of the other clearly mentions, fine, half of the consumers are forward looking and consume their permanent income, but are extremely reluctant to substitute consumption intertemporarily. See, that what the journal publisher needs. What is the cause? What is the effect? Try to mention that one clearly. Here the one authors clearly mention. That is how we have to go for writing. Very essential thing. Whenever you are doing the research, you need not publish the analysis part. But analysis part, now the publishers may ask. And now some of the best journals what they created, they created a concept called supplementary data to verify whether it is original data or not. And you know, they won't give to anybody. And they are creating a separate appendix A for supplementary data. This is a separate link. If anybody is reading, they can click because these journals, they are not getting any money from the writers, authors. So authors has to surrender everything, data, what they collected. So in case they have paid, most of the customers are paying and they are reading this thing. So what they are expecting, since they are paying $75 to read a particular article, it should have a sufficient content. But in the journal article, it may not go up to more than four pages, five pages. All the supplementary data are mentioned as the link in the article. So when you want to publish the research data, you have to keep it with you. And there are standardized format for the purpose of creating a database for that one. Now, use that one. And if the publishers are asking, you have to give. Mostly if you are publishing without paying any cost, that is closed publication, they may ask the supplementary data. Now, these are all the things missing nowadays. That is why I'm giving importance for that one. Coming to the review of literature too, not one. 
Navy of Literature one, you know, before writing the article, you will gather some of the literature reviews supporting your document. But in, when I was in Rotterdam, they clearly mentioned in case of Indian articles, they are not justifying the findings with the literature review. You can see this is called review of literature too. Once you completed your research, then to justify your findings, you have to quote from the previous review. How it is different from the previous reviews, how it is different from the another article. Compulsorily you have to give. Indian authors, they are missing that one. Openly in case of the Erasmus, that is European School of Management, they criticize. Indians, they are not giving literature review too. They are simply writing based upon the empirical findings. What they are expecting, your findings should be justified based upon some research. In some research, same result may come or different result may come. How it is different from you? Understand? That is the review of literature too. You have to justify your findings. Without justification, it is waste. Here is a very good example how a researcher justified his research. You can see real interest rate, then he produced the example in 1994, in 1995, one of the research. That is the review of literature too. For the findings, you have to justify. Without justification, it is not considered as the literature review too. So most of our Indian researchers, it is missing. Next important thing. In writing, you have to reframe the title and abstract before publishing. Once again, I am cautioning, never start from the concept called a study on. First, your topic should be relevance. Here you can see Sage Journals, they identify the relevance because when they are going to publish your article, they will find out what is the relevance, whether your article is relevant in present status. They used to find out. That is why you can see they identified. When I asked the Sage Published Journals, they clearly mentioned the express when goal becomes a challenge. That is the title. They never mentioned a study on role of freshness in food brand, nothing. We can see the title, he express when global becomes a challenge. And they clearly identified that say journals, why they are publishing, because it is relevance and the relevance nature is 82%. That is the method of reframing the title. Your title should be in such a manner that Indirectly, it should motivate the people to read because you are going to publish in free and you are going to publish in quality one journals. Your title itself create a sense among the readers to find out what is in that one. That is how these people created the topic. It should create something, a sense of reading. If there is no sense of reading, they can't market your publication. That is why in this abstract, you should not disclose the findings. What you are going to solve, what motivated to you, but not the answer. Understand, if you are mentioning the answer in the abstract, nobody will read inside. Keywords. I think most of you know, we have to follow standardized keywords. It has been already available in different database. Then only you are able to market, use that one. Here is a simple example. Here the author clearly mentioned that previous evidence, but not what will be the findings. If you read this abstract, it will create some sense to read fully the article. That is the purpose of changing the title. You can see another one. Our study contributes to international marketing research. What is your contribution you can mention? This is the American Marketing Association. 
already told the new one entrepreneur social ties and international digital entrepreneur marketing and that is how you had create the abstract likewise another interesting thing Whether you are able to hear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, ma. The template, writing through the templates. Now, all these EAPA, MLA, IEEE, ELISO template, these are all available in Office 365, even new Office version. I think, how many of you gone through that one? If you use the template, it is very easy. Now, if you open the MS Office, it is easily available. You can go to the template section. It is there are already mentioned about the how to write in APA model, MLA model, IEEE model. All these things are available. We're going through that one and finding out, you can easily find out what are all the templates available in that one. That is the easiest way of writing. You can see MLA research style paper is already available in Microsoft Edge. If you are using Microsoft Edge, you can easily find out. Then we are coming to the next part. So in the style of writing, your title should be very, very important. Never start from a study, but your title should create a sense of writing. If there is no sense, there is no chance of publication. Coming to the core part, how to identify the journal. Now, there are a number of methods to identify the journal. Of course, software type, I am showing simply example of Trinka. It is a free software. There are a number of things. What to find out, you can use the Trinka, copy paste your article, they won't give to anybody. And they will tell clearly whether your topic, whether your abstract, whether your findings are matching with the particular journal. That is the first thing before going for the journal finder. Then only it is easy to you. Journal finder is the last stage. Before going to the journal finder, check all those things. You can see in the Trinka, everything will be coming. Journal scope match, authorship details, reference detail, technical compliance, ethical compliance, ethics you can check with the Trinka itself. Figures and tables, how to incorporate. Then consistency, grammar, publication checks, plagiarism check, journal finder, all these are all available. In my view, better you can go or some other thing. There are a number of things like Trinka now available. They are clearly doing that one. It is the easiest way before you are going for identifying the journal. You can say even you can check the quality of your citation because some of the journal publisher, they will expect only in quality Q1 journals. They won't come down from the Q1 journals. That is quite interesting. So even you can check the citation, whether it is correctly matching with that one. Then you can see the, here all the examples. Consistency is very important. It is first co-integration. Everywhere you have to mention, same word. If there is any change, it will inform you. Because once you use the word under any jargon, it should come in the same level in your research paper. If it is not coming, then you have to change. The consistency will be informed by this software. Or you can automatically check. But it is your, whether your publication is going in a consistent manner. You can clearly tell how you can do. This is a very interesting thing. So first you can put in the Trenka, then you can find out in 
Australian Business Bean Council, that is ABDC General Quality, how it is used. You can see the example of that one. And there are a number of things. This the journal author identification chain is there. This is another example of finding out the journal. Then you can see advanced journal selector. You can select, you can enter the keywords and the publisher. You can easily find out that one, which journal it will be matching. Then as usual, this is the nice one, journal finder. It is easiest one, paper title, then paper abstract you can post. So anyhow, before posting, you can, clearly create with the Trinka or any other software, the consistency checking, plagiarism checking, everything. Then only if you put your abstract here, it will clearly match. If there is open source, you have to pay. If there is no open source, you need not pay. In Australian Business Dean Council, you can see, it will clearly tell. Say for example, I type European Business Review. How many, Titles are equivalent to that one. Business ethics, a European review, European business organizational law review, European business review, European business law review. You can find out clearly because most of the things are predatory journals. So if you use this Australian Business Deans Council website, you can find out whether it is a correct journal or not. Then of course, Springer is using the journal suggester. So once you completed the writing in the respective styles, you can post this one into these journal finders, journal suggester, all those things. Here is the IEEE publication recommender. I think some of them we are using still IEEE and you can find out that one. Yes, it's our in journals. They clearly mention you have to enter the title abstract keywords, then it will tell which journal is matching to that one. And very important thing, you can find out whether the journal is having open source publication or closed one. Open source means you can see in that, I underline that one, view PDF will be available. If it is the closed one, no PDF version will be available. That means first article, complementing human effort in online reviews. It is coming under the closed publication. That means the author might not have paid any amount that is Carlson, Previn, they have not paid any money and they have published that one. If you click that one, only article preview will come. If you want to read the article, you have to pay. But second article is the open source, more than a feeling, accuracy and application of sentiment analysis. Here they mentioned view PDF. So what it means that you can see the article. It is the open source, the author that is marked Healthman and Christians, but they might have paid the amount to this journal, that is International Journal of Research in Marketing. Since they paid, the article is coming under the open source. So you had to differentiate when they will ask money, when they won't ask money. They will ask money if you decide to publish in open source and these articles will be available immediately. If you want to publish in closed method, it won't be available. Only the purview or only the abstract will be available there. These are all the some of the examples. So next last part, that is another quite interesting thing. Most of them, this is the missing item. Once you published, or even if you published in quality level two journals, try to brand, then only these people will know who are you. Even if you write a simple article in any blogs, brand that one. Without branding, you won't get publication next time. Most of them, what is missing, simply we are paying 40,000 to somebody and he will publish in some predatory journals and they will argue that it is in Scopus, but it is not indexing. So then they will send a mail that, is not indexed because your format is missing all those things in late run stages. So before that one, better you can brand the research. Here is a simple example. I hope you know about this person. That is 
Raghuram Rajan. He is now at the Professor of Finance at the University of Chicago's Booth School. How he has been recognized, how the people recognized, you can see even in case of this thing, if his articles are entirely different. He is the first person to contribute in the finance, in public finance. How the brand name of Raghuram Rajan came out in the year 1996. Since I have taken the Google Scholar, of course, you have to understand that one. You can see he has written the first article with other person, Financial Dependence and Growth. It has been cited by 11,792. And his total citation, you can calculate, it is exceeding equivalent to one lakh. That is how his name appears. Of course, after that, he has been appointed as the Sir Bank governor. So the, he branded everything. The, this is an example of his own Chicago School of Business, that is Booth School of Business. And they created a separate page for that one, Chicago Booth Review. Whatever the working papers they will publish. So in your organization, create that one. All the organizations are having website, but block you can create. This is from the Chicago Booth School. Try to create that one. Make yourself brand. Go are the branded person. Then only the authors, the publishers will see who are you. This is the easiest way of publishing. Once your name is appearing everywhere, in your own block, in your own institutional block, then it is easiest one. Here is the Chicago Booth Review, how they branded the Raghuram Rajan View, as well as any articles. Do that one. We are failed in most of the parts. Here is an example of the Singapore Management University. How they branded, you can see one article, the FinTech Revolution. This is a project, article is different. They created a, a blog for that one. This is an example of the Singapore Management University blog. And in that blog, anybody can post, even you can post. They ask the opinion of that one, FinTech records, entrepreneurial mindset, all those things. Most of them use that blog and give the command. Based upon that, they will change the output. Create a something in your blog. This will help you for quick publication because they know you are doing the blog, you are doing some activity. So it is easiest way of making publication. Once you've done a small work, make it is a big. If you make that one as a big one, then you are the successful publisher, okay? So with this, I am concluding my full speech. So in my view, you should be very clear with the ethics. Once you're clear with your ethics, then you have to start. When you are starting, create a research question, which is not having any answers, make it as a topic. Simple thing, follow the regular guidelines. It is already available. Simple thing, in case of all the research website, they're given, what is the, thing we need. Go through that one, fill that one. Next thing, once you completed, go through the consent publication. You can use consistency, you have to check whether it is plagiarism, anything. I have shown the example of Trinka. Use that one or any other thing. It will tell you clearly what are all the mistakes you have done. Once it is completed, then you can go for journal finder, find out. They will tell clearly whether you can go for open source of publication or closed one. If you are selecting open source, then you have to pay. If you are selecting the closed source, you need not pay. That is the method. Once your publication is over, definitely you have to brand. Somebody should read. Then only your next publication will come. Make the brand, create a blog, mention what you are doing, and this will create a nice impact among the publisher. With this conclusion, I mentioned research is creating new knowledge. 
once again i am telling same thing if something innovation and new the publishers are ready you are mouth under the q1 channels thank you now you can ask questions uh, sir there is a question by dr mangesh bhokle yes uh, he has asked that can we use the platforms like linkedin for branding our research yes definitely linkedin you can mention but never mention your findings you can post there is a search corner in linkedin you can post in your page and you can also post in other pages so that they will clearly identify who are you that is interesting thing linkedin is used even the blogs of world health organization world bank asian development bank that is for finance marketing american marketing association is has created singapore they have created even in case of philippines they created european business management they created use that blogs it is easy because even the editors may be one person among the blog they will clearly identify who are you okay uh, sir uh, one more question from professor abzal basha some of the clone journal names are available in ugc care um, how should i verify the authenticity of the journal that is why i am not telling about the ugc ugc you can find out the australian jbdc journal post that one whether it is correct check the website if you check the website it will tell in case of first thing i told that is called research ethics the cop should be there you can go to the website whether the cop guidelines are there cop you have identified what are all things necessary for publication if this journal is having all those thing then only you can go for publishing don't simply without seeing the website go through that one it is a easiest method or you can go to the journal finder and find out once you identified it will tell the website original website go to that website whether the website is matching with the website what the publisher given to you it is easy if it is different it is a clone journal uh, sir vijay lakshmi is uh, asking uh, please share some good open access journal names that you can easily find out here in the australian dean banks council abdc you can go that there is no need for sharing you can go there you can type any keywords it will show all the journals or you can go to the journal finder it is easiest way sir why faiza tarannum she is asking that uh, uh, so there are only very few articles in a new area so what the researcher have to do to come up with new uh, and informative topics we can't say that only few research area in can see use more software find out trending topics even today morning i searched there are 148000 trending topics in the world out of that management it comes around 68000 so find out that one trending topic is not one or two 68000 is for management but nobody has utilized that one that is why in case of sage they mention how many percentage your topic is relevant they clearly mention i shown one example 82% relevance go use the software we are in technology find out what is the trending topic I, among the trending topics select that one that's all sir thank you very much thank you bhuja madam uh there is a new uh, information regarding uh, the communication regarding the valedictory session we are now conducting our valedictory session in uh, online mode uh, so uh, regarding that the message has already been sent and we have already shared it in our uh, whatsapp group uh, so kindly do join us for the valedictory on 25th of may 2023 uh, over to you kirtana thank you sir for an enlightening and enriching session i hope all the questions were clear and no more questions dear participants as we conclude today's session i take this opportunity to propose the oath of thanks 
I express my heartfelt gratitude to Karnataka Private Prose Graduate College Association, the management of Christo Jayanti College and IA School of Management Studies for their invaluable support and guidance in organizing this insightful and informative session. Their commitment to promoting quality education and professional development is commendable. A special thanks goes to Dr. Baba Gnana Kumar for sharing his expertise and making the session truly educational and enriching. His insights and knowledge have greatly contributed to our understanding of the subject matter. We extend our sincere appreciation to the esteemed audience of faculty members from various institutions across the nation. Your active participation, engagement, and thoughtful contributions have been instrumental in making this faculty development program a resounding success. Your dedication to improving your teaching skills and advancing the field of management education is truly commendable. I would also like to thank all the organizers, coordinators, and support staff for their unbearing commitment and hard work in ensuring the smooth execution of this program. It is through your collective efforts that this FDP has been a valuable learning experience for all the participants. I once again express my gratitude to everyone involved in their dedication to professional development and their contribution to the field of management education. Together, we can continue to inspire and empower future generations and educators and leaders. Before we close, please note that tomorrow we will have a session on bibliography, metric and management research by Dr. Kailash Kasande. So please do join us on the same link tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you.